so this is about the front of the thigh and in this we are going to discuss about the deep fascia and the femoral triangle so you know that you have refractory skin superficial fascia and it has two layers called as superficial fatty layer and deep membranous layer and then it has deep to that is the deep fascia so you have reflected the deep fascia even we have exposed the muscles here but the deep fascia is modified in the front of the thigh as iliotibial tract you can see here this is the iliotibial tract here you can see this right and one more modification is at the level of the cribriform we say the cribriform fascia at the level of the saphenous opening where the great saphenous vein will drain into the femoral vein the place where it is draining that is modified and thickened to form the cribriform fascia and also you see that intermuscular septums we have three compartments in the thigh that is anterior compartment posterior and medial compartment and separating these compartment deep fascia is modified into septa medial lateral and posterior intermuscular septum the most important thing here what we have to see here is the iliotibial tract so iliotibial tract the name itself in, it uh, indicates that it starts from the ilium and it ends at the tibia here so iliotibial tract what happens is it stabilizes the knee joint actually during the walking or running it stabilizes the knee joint and also two muscles actually while uh, attaching to the ilium ilia crest it is uh, having two lamina like superficial lamina and deep lamina so into this between superficial and deep lamina we have two muscles attached that is uh, tensor fascia lata and the gluteus maximus muscle so gluteus maximus and tensor fascia lata they are the two muscles they get inserted into the iliotibial tract so this is about the deep fascia here and deep to that you see the muscles 